What's up guys, Headphones Neil here with my review of the 27 film Murder on the Orient Express. So I finally got around to watching it. I was actually thinking of what I could watch or something to watch and um, that popped into my mind. So I thought I would see how it is, see if it hold up, held up to some of the scrutiny, um, see if I liked it, um, and see how it held up from my memory of the novel. So um, overall, I want to say that the film held up to most of my expectations of the film the uh, train the scenery the overall panoramic views of the cities most of the character personalities were good um, I want to say that the ones that stand out stood out the most were of course uh, Hercule Poirot um, because of course as a um, main character of the book of the novel um, you would expect his character to be the one that's the best from there, the only other one that stood out is the ones that I thought kind of met my expectations of what of the character from the novel was um, the princess played by Judy Dench. Um, overall, her personality's quirkiness and her general demeanor as a princess worked for me. Her interactions with her um, assistant, maid, lady, servant, lady uh, were the servant was probably the a close second as a follow up, but. There wasn't really much to expect from that character from my memory of it. So overall, that all worked. But from there, the rest of the characters were okay. Um, you have Johnny Depp um, in this movie as well as the main antagonist of the film. In the scenes that we did see him, his character worked. Um, for that part, I could see why they cast him. Um, and if you've seen any of his other films, you can kind of see um, how he fit well for this role. And it worked. So I want to say as far as third place, I'd give it to him. The rest of the characters were fine. Um, as far as Daisy Ridley as, I think, Mary Debenham, I want to say it was good enough. But I kind of expected a little bit more from the character. Um, I would have kind of, I kind of wanted to see more, play her more as that, as a Ray role in this film. Uh, Ray in the first film or, or, of the Force Awakens, more than the la more than um, the Rise of Skywalker. Um, but if she had channeled a little bit more of that in this film, I would have liked the character more. And granted, the flip side, as we would have said, is too much like her Ray character from Star Wars. But um, I could see how she could have fit the role well, but it didn't really work as well as I had kind of hoped or kind of expected it to go um early on i found that she, I, I saw the potential of it but it didn't really work and from there the rest of the characters are more or less the same i kind of like the character of book um as um, what he pulled off but i didn't really have a, i don't really have a memory of him from the novel as far as his overall um character and, and how it plays out with the rest of the cast so i can't i don't really want to speak to that, but I want to. I will say that I did like his character. Uh, it played well with um, Hercule Poirot's character, so there is that. But overall, I found the movie enjoyable just because the character interactions, as unbalanced as they felt, and granted, you have a lot of characters to balance in this film, especially with the main end uh, revelation that they're all they all played a part in. Johnny Depp's uh, character's death so um, there is that so you have to kind of uh, balance all of that together but overall just granted with the downside of the characters it just worked the panoramas the characters playing off each other uh, Poirot trying to um, extract information from people who don't necessarily want to give information um, just worked and it the hour 45 or so a couple of hours left for the movie went by very quickly um and i want to say that the other thing that um did it for me was the overall visuals of the different cities the train and the mountain the snow the train itself the characters look and feel um generally just work so if for anything else, I would recommend watching the movie um, for that. Um, delving too far into how the characters relate to the characters in the novel might turn some people off. But for me, just because it's been a while, I think I might have listened to the audiobook earlier this year, maybe last year. Um, and just basing off that in my previous memories of the um, different characters in the book, I want to say that they generally just worked. So 
for me, I give the movie a general positive rating. I want to give it probably about a B. Um, it was enjoyable. It was good. Um, there were th- points where it fell flat, but not to the point where it took away from the film. And of course, um, rounding it out, um, at the end of the film, we see um, Hercule Poirot being um, recruited for the next job in Egypt for Death of the Nile, which is coming out later this year, or expected to come out uh, later this year. So, and now I kind of want to see that to see how um, they present that movie. And I want to, uh, or I'll probably, I don't know if I'll have time to finish reading the novel or listening to the audiobook. Might show up on my list but um i might make that my next novel to read once i finish the one i'm currently on so look out for that review coming soon as a bit of uh teaser but overall the movie was good i like the cliffhanger at the end for death on the nile um the only thing that stood out while watching the movie otherwise that doesn't really pertain to the good how good or bad the film is is that throughout the film or early on in the film, I kept wondering why um, Hercule Poirot looked a lot like Ewan McGregor. And I could see that in bits and pieces, like he, they had um, added some weight prosthetics to his face, face and body to make him look fatter than he was. Or, um, I mean, he could have even gained some weight, and I probably would have remembered if he was in the film, but sadly he was not. So about a quarter or halfway through the film, I got to, um, I was kind of hoping that they would have, that they had cast him. Um, Ewan McGregor as the as Hercule Poirot, or if they ever do a younger version of the character, that they could still cast him in that role. So that's all there is for this particular review. Um, I'm glad I watched the film. It's one to mark off the bucket list. Um, but as I mentioned, I gave it about a grade of a B. It was uh, well done. The acting was um, the acting worked. The visuals worked. Even though some of the character personalities didn't stand out as much as I would have hoped so um, there is that but that is all for this particular review so if you have any questions comments concerns want to get in touch with me provide your own feedback on this review or any review you can find me on twitter at patel n01 the website is patel n01.com for past episodes subscription links supporting the show and all of that good stuff but thanks for tuning in and until next